Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about props for the up air, and we're also going to be talking about carbon fiber props for the up air, as well as tri props for the up air. So, you could say this is a little bit of a prop episode. So, it's February here in Michigan, it's colder than cold can be outside. So, um, you know, flight videos in this weather, not even I'll venture out. It's got to be up around 20 degrees, at least for me to go out. And it's in the single digits right now. So I figure this is a good time to talk about props and especially carbon fiber props. Because one of the things I've gone ahead and uh, I've ordered some. And so I have both the regular uh, dual carbon fiber props. And these weren't that expensive, actually. Um... And so I want to give them a shot and see how they go, as well as I've also decided to give tri props a try. So one of the interesting things I've heard, or at least read on the internet, is these are supposed to uh, improve jelloing uh, by providing a bit better balance. So I, I want to put these to the test when the weather warms up and we get some flight time out of this. However, I kind of wanted to share a little bit of this with you guys in advance of so what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, what I'm working on. I also give you some links to these below. Really, really affordable. So uh, uh, very happy with that. I bought several different sets. I don't know if you can kind of see all the bags laying around here. Uh, so I wanted to have a bit to experiment with. So my piece is, is I want to, number one, experiment with the regular plastic ones versus the regular carbon fiber. And then the carbon fiber versus the tri-prop to see if I reduce the jello and what kind of lift. Now the interesting thing here is, so I have a, a black and a black um, prop. And you notice when I overlay these, this one prop is the same size as this. And I have three of these, so I've now added one prop, or at least 25% more, uh, you know, technically should be lift to it, because I have one more blade on each one of the four blades of the quadcopter. So I'm very much interested to see how this affects performance in general and stability. I'm thinking the triprop might be a very interesting addition for um, a video platform. Uh, I also, as you're going to see in an upcoming uh, video, I, I'm doing some more experimentation with other quadcopters for building video platforms. This is because, obviously, with a channel named Video Drone, what am I interested in is video, right? So, anyways, um, that's why I thought this was a pretty cool idea. So, again, I wanted to share this with you, and I wanted you to be able to see the size. Now, these are supposed to be direct uh, mount-ups to the... Um, the up air, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how that works. So here I've uh, actually so these are the these are up air motors from my first up air that that I crashed. I took them out. I'm gonna do some other things with them, but here they are uh, actually connected. So they do, uh, you know, they spin on here nice, n no issues with that, and uh, so uh, actually pretty good. So pretty happy with that. Uh, fit on there snugly, so no issues. Uh, like I say, I'll have links to these below, so if you're interested, give them a try. And, and again, once the weather warms up a little bit, I definitely plan on um, giving these a little bit of a run. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button's uh, going to be popping up over there if you're not a subscriber. Also, if you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Happy to answer any questions you might have about these or point you in the right direction. So... Cheers and see you in the next video.